So in the crypto space, I don't believe there are coincidences. I believe that we tend to follow historical trends. I believe pumps are very similar, and I believe market cycles continue to play out how they have in the past. It's just what has happened historically. We've shown to have some significance there, right? Some consistency. And what I'm seeing right now with this ADA pump is something that we have actually experienced within the last year. And this was actually the pump to begin 2023. Now, the interesting thing about this is ADA went into a very oversold period before it exploded out to begin the year. We saw a lot of people, you know, securing those losses for the year for tax time. And then we had just this massive explosion, right? And the interesting thing is if you look at these two pumps, they are very similar. If you lay them over the top of each other, they're they're very, very similar. They're so similar, in fact, that we almost have this same bullish pennant that was playing out here. And instead of breaking the upside, it broke to the downside. Uncanny, right? Very, very bizarre. But times are a little different now. Okay. We're experiencing the same pump, but things are occurring a little differently. If you guys remember to enter 2023, sentiment was very poor. Obviously, we were experiencing things like FTX. We we're experiencing market wide sell offs. BTC was hitting lows. You know, there's a lot of negativity floating around the space, but times are now different. We're in fact exploding, right? We are seeing a lot of possible white swan events. There is a lot of positivity in the market. BTC is ushering in new yearly highs. The market is trending the right direction. So although these pumps look similar, you can see the strength in these pumps is very different, right? When we look at what happened to begin the year, we had consolidation about halfway up this chart here. We had consolidation again in that bullish pendant, but with a breakdown, we had a longer level of consolidation, even as we began to climb to 40 and a half cents, right? And what this leads me to believe is, although we experienced some consolidation at the top to begin the year here, before we, if you guys remember, before we've kind of flipped around and then bounced back to try to create a new yearly high there, right? And didn't get much gusto along the way. It looks more likely that ADA is actually going to, instead of consolidating, show more strength, show more push to the upside. Now, again, this is not financial advice. This is just purely a guess. This is basically just me studying this data. And it shows that times are in fact different. Although we've seen this before, although we've seen this play out a certain way, times are in fact different. Times are better. We're going through this overall shift. We have essentially almost a year difference between when these pumps happened and we are a year closer to the bull market, year closer to the Bitcoin halving, year closer to that major capital influx happening in the space. This looks like it's the start of a much bigger run ahead. Now, this isn't to say that there isn't going to be consolidation. This isn't to say that there isn't going to be pullbacks, right? This chart that we're showing here, this historical pump that we had may not hold, right? We may pull back and, and go further. We may come down, test 32 cents, who knows, right? But it looks like when we look just a few months down the road, this is going to turn into a much more explosive run than even what we're seeing right now. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I appreciate you as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think we're going to play out how we did in the past. If we're going to be more explosive. If we're going to have some consolidation and pull back to lower prices. Ew, gross. But hope you guys have a great day. Show your love below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.